Time now for another edition of Legally Speaking with attorney Aaron Rodenbo, who's here with Garski Hewitt. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Blake. I'm thankful to be here as well. All right, very good. So today we're going to be talking about no-fault auto laws. So the last time that you were here, Aaron, it was just um, after Michigan changed those no-fault laws regarding personal injury protection, benefits. Can you just run us through those changes? Yeah, for sure, Blake. So on May 30th, 2019, Governor Gretchen Whitmer signed into effect a bill that took effect on July 1st, 2020, where it allowed drivers of Michigan to select what kind of medical coverage they wanted specifically for their personal injury protection benefits. Like, for example, you can now select at $50,000 coverage, $100,000 coverage, $250,000, $500,000, as well as unlimited. How are these changes going so far? They're not going too bad. I think that Governor Whitmer did a really good job with what she did, allowing people to select a coverage plan that uh, is based on their financial needs. But some of the issues that I am seeing are the people that have selected the lower coverage. Yeah. Uh, when they're involved in a serious motor vehicle accident, like for instance, $50,000 student coverage can go through overnight. Mm -hmm. And then you're looking at other issues after that. Yeah, you can, don't want to mess around. I had just went through one of my first car accidents this oh, year. Geez. So yeah, it was not fun trying to deal with everything. So uh, it's good to point all of these out. So any recommendations for people regarding the personal injury protection benefits? Absolutely. I always recommend, Blake, that keep your personal injury protection benefits as high as you can uh, get it in high, as high as your finances will allow. Okay. Um, if it's possible, keep them at unlimited. That's one of the beauties of the no-fault system is, is that if you're involved in an accident like you where your medical bills are paid for by your own automobile insurance yeah. company. So if you can, keep your insurance benefits for PIP as high as you can possibly get them. All right, very good. Any other recommendations that you would have for our drivers out there today? Absolutely, Blake. I would recommend that all, to all the drivers today that they go out and find their declaratory sheet with their automobile policy. Uh, take a look at it. I would have two recommendations with that. The first is, is make sure that your bodily injury coverage is as high as you can possibly afford to cover it. That way, if you're at fault for an accident, you have enough insurance protection to cover you for that accident. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I would recommend to people, Blake, as well, is, is look at what they call the UM, UIM insurance, so uninsured motorists or underinsured motorist coverage, and see what that is at as well. And again, you want to keep that coverage as high as possible. So if so, you're involved in an accident like yourself mm -hmm. where somebody unfortunately hits you without insurance, you have coverage for your injuries as a result of those, your accident. And that's a good feeling. Yes. I can imagine. When, the insurance, when it comes to insurance, more is always better. Okay. No matter what. Good so. rule of thumb. We appreciate it, Aaron. Thank you. It was an honor and privilege to be here today. And real quick, if they ever want your assistance or help at Garski Hewitt, how can they contact you? They can reach us. Uh, we, have, we offer free consultations, so they can call 989-355-0100, and they can ask for me. Um, or you can call and just or get a hold of us in a different way through email. Perfect. All right. Thank you. All right. And if you want more information on this, make sure you go to the hotlink section on our website, WNEM.com.